everybody, and welcome back to Callback, the show that takes you behind the scenes of the amazing art of community theater right in your own community. I'm Jeff Short, and Happy New Year! It's 2008, and I'm looking forward to a great year of some fantastic theater here in Cleveland. Today I'm here at the Olmsted Community Center in Olmsted Falls, Ohio, where auditions are taking place right now for the classic musical Annie Get Your Gun. And the reason I'm here is because for the next few weeks, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of putting this musical together as well. Right. Got no butler, got no maid. Still I think I've been overpaid. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. She's got the sun in the morning and the moon. I'm going to introduce you to the group that's putting it on, Olmsted Performing Arts, located right here in Olmsted Falls, Ohio. It's a great theater group whose mission is to provide performance opportunities for young people in our community while teaching them important life skills like teamwork, discipline, and presentational skills. I'm going to introduce you to the director of the group, Angela Bone, and we're going to take you behind the scenes all the way starting from today at auditions through opening night. Annie Get Your Gun runs from April 24th through 26th at the Worldview Community Church, a state-of-the-art facility in Olmsted Falls, Ohio. It's going to be an exciting ride. Annie Get Your Gun tells the fictionalized life story of Annie Oakley, a real-life sharpshooter from right here in Ohio in the 1800s. It's the classic Irving Berlin musical that originally starred Ethel Merman in 1946. It was produced by Rodgers and Hammerstein and featured classic songs like There's No Business Like Show Business. There's no business like show business like no business I know. The whole world according to moi. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> How you were accusing half the night off. Waiting till the morning papers came. So how do you think it went in there? Uh, pretty good, but my voice cracked in the middle of my song. But it oh, that's yeah, that's no big deal. <laughs> that happens to everybody. What a moment when your face would light up to see the write up and find your name. Um, it was okay. I was kind of nervous when we started because I didn't know how they were gonna take it and what was gonna happen. Let's go. what's going to happen, and then it's really fun. My name's Angela Bohm, and I'm the artistic director here at Umstead Performing Arts. So what are you looking for in these kids for the show? Energy. Energy. I need them to come to life, uh, to life and, and that's the biggest thing, and confidence. Okay, so when you step forward, if you sing, the sun will come out tomorrow, <coughs> do you think we're going to want you to be in the show? Yeah. But if you go, the sun will come out tomorrow, then we'll be like, wow, did you see how much energy she had? Okay? The biggest challenge is that we haven't, our audition minimum has been 75 to 100, and we, we're looking at about 45 kids right now. But the kids we have, we can do it with, and they're, they're all good kids, and they're all very talented. It's just uh, we're used to a lot more of that. But they, they were. We had, we had a very good audition, I think. We did. With all the deluxe hotels in Cincinnati, wouldn't you know we'd end up in something like this? Um, I think it went well. I mean, you know, I'm not much of a singer or actor, so I kind of just have fun and try to, like, give them a comic relief. <laughs> Come on, Tommy! Put my stuff over there. Don't drop anything. And then I just, I'm totally a different person at dance auditions. I'm serious, and that's what I really am. So. And that's happening this afternoon. Yes, and you'll see me there, and I'll be like, <laughs> I won't be talking. I'll be, like, real quiet. You know, I love the music to the show. That's why I picked it. I think it's different. I think that Olmsted Performing Arts has been a very children's associated theater and I wanted to take that in a different direction now and kind of introduce some theater to people that would never have gone to see theater, but now because they've been coming to see us and the shows they're familiar with, we're gonna teach them a little bit about what theater is. Come on boys, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz, start the car, I know a whoopee spot. Where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's 
just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl and all that jazz. Fair it. Okay. Okay. You feel better? No. I'm still kind of nervous. You look like you're gonna throw up. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't do unless I was top dog. And any man would feel the same way, Charlie. Any man. Very good. Till it's time Now we're going to take all the first through sixth graders and our choreographer is going to teach them a dance and see if they can hang on because it's a pretty tough dance. Then we're going to take all of our seventh grade to college and teach them a dance and then we're going to do callbacks from three to five. All in one day. And then we talk mm -hmm. <laughs> and that takes hours. A, a challenge as a staff, I feel like, because of uh, the smaller amount. But I think it'll be a great show. Got no diamond, got no pearl. Still, I think I'm a lucky girl. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. 